everybody. Uh, there have been a lot of comments on my Orange and Bloom video from several years ago asking me to do a tutorial for it. Uh, and I kept saying, yeah, 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 I'll get to it eventually. And well, it's been raining here in sunny, usually, California uh, for several weeks. And uh, so now I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, I want to say before we begin that uh, this arrangement I got, I stole from Adrian Brown. Uh, who has an excellent video on the difference between quarter comma mean tone and equal temperament and uh, that's, that's where I learned this tune and I take no credit for the arrangement. Um, the other thing is I'm going to try a format for this tutorial that uh, I haven't seen anybody do before so I'll be curious to know if it works for you uh, so let me know in the comments. Um, uh, also, I play a 30-button Wheatstone layout, Anglo Concertina. If you play a Jeffries layout, uh, then I'm going to have uh, a, a Jeffries section of this tutorial after the Wheatstone one, and I'll put a link down there in the, com in the uh, video description. Um, if you're the kind of person who relies on uh, sheet music, uh, I'm going to put a link to some sheet music in the description as well. Uh, with the warning that I play by ear and I'm not the most literate uh, <laughs> music transcriber, uh, but hopefully it'll be good enough to get you playing. All right, so here is what we're going to play. <laughs> down below me uh, there's a button diagram uh, of a concertina keyboard left hand right hand when I am squeezing that's gonna show up in blue and when I'm pulling that's gonna show up in red all right push blue pull red so I'm gonna start out really slow just the a part this tune has three parts, the A part, the B part, and the C part. So the A part is just the, uh, the first part. It, there's a repeat in the middle, so you always play the phrase twice. And I'm gonna play it really slow, here goes. note that you can use the YouTube uh, playback controls to slow that down or speed it up if you need to. Um, now the B part uh, starts out differently and then it goes back to the same phrase that's in the A part uh, to finish. So here's how that sounds. <laughs> Do that again. Okay. Uh, 
in the Morris dance that goes along with this tune, you actually play the B part three times. Uh, but when I'm playing just in a session or for my own pleasure, I tend to only play it twice because it gets kind of repetitive. Now there's also a C part. Uh, that's the slow part. Uh, that also comes from the dance. If I'm playing this uh, just on my own, not for the dance, I tend to leave it out. But it's really pretty, so I'm going to include it here. Uh, and this is how it goes. <laughs> Alright, now let's do the whole tune from the top. to do the Jeffries version. Um, this, again, is a Wheatstone instrument, so I'm going to play in the background and have the diagram take up the entire screen because it's not going to match exactly how I'm moving and I don't want to confuse you. So here goes.
All right, so this was just a proof of concept. Uh, let me know what you think of this tutorial in the comments. And uh, if there is sufficient interest, maybe we will do this again sometime.